Good morning. Welcome back, everybody. Thank you for watching uh, from wherever you are this morning across this beautiful country. This is a fascinating thing that's happening for us ladies out there. A recent study suggests an overwhelming number of us with household incomes $30,000 or higher fear losing their money and becoming homeless. Here to talk about what's called bag lady syndrome is best-selling author and personal finance educator Kelly Keen. Good morning, Kel. How are you? Good morning, gorgeous. Great to be with you, Dina. It is. Uh, this is fascinating to the point where even Oprah Winfrey, who had her, you know, Harpo network and her how many houses and everything else, she suffers from bag lady syndrome too. Yeah, she has gone on record. Can you imagine having billions of dollars and still worrying that one day you will lose it all? So this is a, a huge issue for women. And the study revealed that women that have incomes of around $30,000, half of them suffer from this. But Dina, women that have incomes of $200,000 or more, a third of those women suffer from this. And the implications of it are, um, you know, so much, but it could be things like not taking enough risk in your investing, with your career planning. So just knowing that a lot of us suffer from this syndrome uh, can bring a little bit of relief and, and, and we can talk about what to do about it as well. Okay, so what can we do to alleviate some of the stress and worry? Yeah, I mean, the most important thing is to know your situation. Like, you know, do you have credit in your name? Are you vulnerable to a spouse passing away or, or dying? Um, you know, seek financial help for sure. And then also look for found money. I was on with Sid uh, a few weeks ago and we were talking about ways that you can find money that you might not have even realized you have with the Bank of Canada, employer benefits, maybe filing your taxes if you haven't done that for a while. Uh, there might be a refund out there for you. So just opening your eyes to all the possibilities is a really great first step. This is interesting. We were talking about uh, joint accounts not too long ago, and I'm reading your notes. You're saying if you have sleepless nights, if you don't have money or credit on your own, in your own name, it could add to this syndrome. Two-thirds of women whose partners are the primary breadwinner say they feel trapped. So what do you say in terms of, like, joint accounts? Should you have your own stash of cash? Oh, that's such a great question. There was another survey that revealed that two-thirds of women who their spouse is the primary breadwinner, they do feel trapped. And one mm. in third married women have a secret bank account. I think it's so important that you have money and credit in your name. Even if you aren't earning anything, you should at least know what your financial situation is. Okay, so you talk about extra income. Maybe it's time to earn some to allay some of those fears. Start saving, see a financial professional. And you say, look for found money. What does that mean? Yeah, exactly. I mean, there's so much money out there. It could be negotiating your salary. It could be just you know, being able, being open to earning more money uh, and, you know, just scouring all of the different ways. It could be employer matching programs that you're leaving, like billions of dollars are being left on the table every day. And there's a great new tool actually put out by um, the National Payroll Institute. They're a nonprofit called Financially, uh, it's a financial fitness evaluator at financiallyfit.ca. I love this tool, Dina. I went and did it. And it helps you realize if you're financially fit, if you're stressed, or if you're just coping. And then all these resources to help you figure out which way you should go. By the way, Kelly, we need you on for a whole other segment for another day because I don't know about like a lot of women watching right now, but I'm terrible at asking for things or knowing our value and asking what we think our worth is. So mm -hmm. asking for a raise just gives me anxiety thinking about it. So that's, that's we got to tackle that another day. But I know you have an amazing conference that's happening tomorrow. What will you be covering and how do we get involved? How do we participate? Yes, thank you, Dina. Yes, it's called the Women Claiming Wealth Conference because I want women to claim more of their wealth Literally, Canadians are leaving millions of dollars on the table of free money. And yes, Dina, we're talking about negotiating. We're talking to leaning into your finances, where to find all of this free money. And you can find all that information at kellykeen.com. And if you can't make tomorrow, it will be recorded if you register. We have an amazing lineup of speakers and exhibitors and panels and prizes. So we really hope to see you there tomorrow to claim more of your wealth. It's never needed more, you know, with the cost of inflation, gas. It seems impossible when you think about, oh my gosh, will I have anything for my retirement? It's anxiety inducing on top of all the regular stressors. Add kids to the mix. My gosh, thank you so much, Kelly. For more tips, find her on Instagram at Kelly Keen Biz and make sure you check out the spelling K-E-L-L-E-Y-K-E-E-H-N B-I-Z or on our website, kellykeen.com. Thank you so much, Kelly. Thanks, Dina.